My name is Tanisa, and it's time for Upstreet Online. So get comfortable, get close, because we're about to hang out for a little bit and talk about friendship. Friendship is everywhere. You have friends, your parents have friends, your teachers have friends. I mean, even I have friends. And did you know that so many Disney movies are about friendship too? Take a look at some of my faves. Well, mine would have to be Lilo and Stitch, hands down. Okay, so because we're talking about friendship today, obviously our story has something to do with friendship. In fact, our story today has to do with not one, not two, or three, but four friends that work together to help out a friend in need. I can't wait for you to hear about it. But before then, let's worship our amazing God. I've got so I'm gonna let this feeling take control Joy down in my soul to stay And nothing's gonna take it away Joy down in my soul I'm gonna let this feeling take control Whatever comes my way, I'll be okay Whatever comes my way, I'll be okay. 
Got this friend, Remy. We both like to get these awesome Lego sets and set them up. Got this new one I'm really excited about. We've never built one like this before and I thought Remy would be excited too. So I went to his house earlier, brought the Lego set and he didn't want to build it. He just wanted to build his old one. Again, we just built it like two days ago so he tore it down so we could build it again. Didn't sound super fun to me so I just went home. Why can't we build my new one? Lando, man, you're not alone. Hey, I think we've all been in your shoes, but how do we not let the things that we want get in the way of our friendships? So there's this really cool video I found on YouTube that tells about this one time that Jesus came across four friends who did something pretty gnarly so that their friend got what he needed. All right, so this is a true story. You can read about it in your Bible, but here's what's really cool about this video. It tells the story using your favorite, my favorite, Legos! That's right. Okay, so listen, the details of the story are a little bonkers, but here's what's clear. These four guys made sure they did whatever they could to put their friend first. Check this out. Jesus was traveling around from town to town where he was not only teaching, but also healing people. So everywhere Jesus went, large crowds would gather to see what Jesus was going to do next. On this eventful day, four friends were making their way to a house where Jesus was teaching. These men had a very important mission. Their friend couldn't walk, and they were carrying him to Jesus in hopes that Jesus would heal him so he could walk again. But once they arrived at the house where Jesus was teaching, they realized they might not be able to get close enough to Jesus for him to heal their friend. The crowd was just too large. How would they get him into the house? They put their heads together and came up with a plan. The four friends made the choice to take their friend up onto the roof. Now, interestingly enough, many houses at that time had stairs or ladders to the roof. And these guys carried their friend all the way up to the rooftop. As Jesus was talking and everyone was listening closely, bits of dust and dirt began falling on the people and light began pouring in and all of the sudden, there were four heads peeking through the hole from above. The four friends had dug a hole in the roof to get their friend inside the house where Jesus was. Then very carefully, these four friends lowered their friend through the ceiling, dropping him right in front of Jesus. The people there could not believe what they were seeing. They wondered what Jesus was going to do. Would Jesus be angry that the friends had interrupted him? Would Jesus ignore them and try to continue? How would Jesus handle this interruption? Jesus said to the man, I tell you, get up, take your mat and go home. And the man stood up in front of them, picked up his mat and walked home. Jesus healed the man. Man, talk about friendship. Hey, I've never done it, but it probably isn't easy to carry a full grown man all the way up a roof, dig a hole, and then lower him down. Not many of us wake up thinking, I wanna carry my friend onto a roof today. And listen, those four friends, they could have said, hey, you know what? I've already made plans today. I can't help you. They could have walked away when they saw the house was so crowded. They could have been like, sorry, dude, we tried. Oh well, but they did whatever they could to get their friend in front of Jesus because that's what their friend needed. Good friends put others first. And you and I, uh, we can do that. We can do it more than we think we can. Like when you go over to a friend's house, you could be a good friend and let them choose what they wanna play first. Or when everyone's running out to get the basketball first to start shooting hoops, you could let someone go ahead of you and get the ball. You could let your friend or someone in your class go in front of you when it's time to line up to go somewhere. At school, at home, when it's easy, and listen, even when it's hard, we need to be friends who put others first. We might have to wait longer for a turn. We might not get our first choice 
or we may not even get that thing we really, really want. But being a good friend is more important and it can be hard. So that's why we gotta follow Jesus and we gotta learn how he did it. How we treat others is really important to God because he loves everyone and he wants us to love everyone too. And we're definitely gonna need his help to remind us that putting others first is more important than doing what we wanna do. So let's pray and ask him to do just that. God, thank you for our friends, they're awesome. But we wanna be good friends and so help us learn how to put our friends first, how to make sure that we're thinking about what they need so that we can show them that we love them, but that you love them too. Remind us every day to be good friends and put others first. We love you, God. Amen. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Luke 6, 31. those guys could drop everything and carry their friend on a roof, then it shouldn't be too hard for me to build a Lego set again. Man, I just wanted to get my way and, and do what I wanted to do. It doesn't sound like being a good friend to me. I wonder if Remy felt the same way after I left. I can do better. I, I really do enjoy hanging out with Remy. I mean, he's a master builder and he's taught me so much. He's a really good friend to me. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna help him build a set again. Maybe when we're done, I'll ask him if we can build a new one next. I'll let you know what happens. <laughs>